Don't know why I'm drifting, I'm drifting so Out of my mind Hey guys, this is a reading for the 22nd through the 29th. This is a reading to see what is actually going on with your ex. Alright, so let's see what's currently going on with them. What is their current situation, Scorpio's ex? Hmm, Queen of Pentacles. Working on their finances. I feel like this person is... Um, Mostly concentrating on their livelihood and their their family life right now. This person may be um, a single parent, um, maybe even a grandmother for some of you. A young grandmother, though. So, um, but they are um, really just trying to find some solace, some stability in their life. I feel after you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <clears throat> what is your ex's perception of you? Three of Swords. Hmm. They feel like you're hurt. They feel like you're disappointed. Um, this person's also hurt and disappointed as well. They feel like you guys have been through a lot together. Um, they've learned a lot from your relationship to whoever this is, but um, I kind of feel like this person is waiting to hear you reveal something to them, um, maybe that you still care about them, maybe that you didn't cheat on them, or something like that, but they definitely have a level of disappointment here, and um, they're, they're still a little heartbroken, maybe you guys have not spoken about, you know, why you actually broke up here. Yeah, Knight of Cups. They're waiting for you to uh, make some kind of loving gesture towards them. It's what they are um, wanting from you. Okay. They're expecting you to do this. I feel like because, you know, when you guys were good, that uh, you were the one that was um, really kind of, you know, putting your best foot forward, showing your emotions, wearing your heart on your sleeve, and they feel like you guys are um, are coming back. They want you to come back. They're expecting you to come back. They want to talk about things with you here. Okay. Let's see what their feelings are about getting back together. Six of Cups, I, I get that they definitely have been thinking about it. They've been thinking about the good times that you guys have shared. <clears throat> this is your card. Um, they would definitely like to get back together. You feel like family to them. For some of you, I feel like um, maybe you guys live together or either you are married and maybe you're separated for some of you. Um, but this person's definitely reminiscing about how good things used to be. And um, they, they definitely will be willing to get back together, I feel. Okay. <clears throat> What's blocking this individual currently? What's blocking them currently? The Eight of Wands. What's blocking them is that I feel like this person is kind of stuck in their ways. They're not making any forward movement. I feel like this person is a little too stationary for you. They're a little too... Um, I don't want to say refined, but maybe there's not enough um, spontaneity for you guys. Not enough attraction there for you. So, um, yeah, Sagittarius energy. What is their next move? What is their next move? The Three of Cups. Hmm. Just spending time with family and friends. Um, I feel like they definitely want to get back together, but I'm I'm thinking that this person is expecting you to make the first move. 
but I don't see you guys actually making a move. That is what they're wanting. They're feeling like you're the one that needs to. And I feel like that's why they are right now feeling um, really disappointed and hurt because, you know, you guys were bringing all of the, um, the, the spontaneous um, situations into play and, you know, just making this person feel like they were on top of the world and they're missing that. Okay, but for you, it's like, shit, I want somebody to make me feel like I'm on top of the world and do spontaneous things for me and be spontaneous with me doing things. So I think they're expecting you to continue what you've been doing. And I f I'm feeling you guys getting a little sick of that and wanting the same in return, but they're not seeing that. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Please show me more about the Queen of Pentacles. We have the world. This person is definitely, I feel, an older person, whether male or female. Um, they have a lot of experience up under their belt. They've been around the world a time or two, metaphorically. Okay, so I feel like this person has had um, relationships. You know, they have a lot of experience under their belt whoever this is, but this person is definitely wanting to start over with you guys. That world energy is um, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius energy. Um, they're looking forward uh, to the future, a future with you guys here, okay? Please show me more about the Three of Swords and Nine of Chalices energy. The Ten of Swords. Hmm. They feel like you're rejecting them by not coming forward. They, they feel this level of rejection and it's really messing with them. Um, I'm getting that you guys are tired though, is the thing. It's ti you're tired. I'm feeling like, you know what, I don't want to always be the one to come with roses or a gift or, um, you know, petting somebody up. Somebody, they need to pet me up, you know. I want to go and do this. Can we? Can you make the offer for us to go out on a date? Why does it always have to be me? That sort of thing. So, they're feeling this level of rejection, okay. Hmm. This person may also feel like, you know, this this could go vice versa, guys. Like, um, you guys are feeling betrayed and rejected because, like, this person doesn't even realize that they need to take um, some steps forward to meet you, you know. So, let's see. Please show me more about the Six of Cups energy. Six of Cups energy. Queen of Wands. They definitely want to get back together. Definitely want to get back together. And you know what else? This person knows that um, it's, it's going to take a little more than, you know, being at home and cooking and cleaning and uh, cutting the grass and stuff like that, um, taking care of home, um, providing, you know, a financial means. It's going to take more than that to sustain this relationship. And I'm, I'm feeling like this person is thinking about all of that, that maybe they need to dress up a little bit. Maybe they need to put on some perfume or some cologne or, you know, initiate dates with you guys. They're thinking about the things that that you possibly have said to this person while you guys were together before you even broke up. Now they're thinking about all that and taking that into account like maybe this is the reason why Scorpio has not come back around. This is, you know, I may need to do this. I may need to step outside my um, my comfort zone and um, you know do some different things here. What's blocking this person? Please show me more about this Eight of Wands energy. The Prince of Chalices. The Prince of Chalices. Hmm. Look at that. I feel like this person 
um, like they're not evolved like they're very mature but I feel like emotionally they're not that mature honestly and I feel like what's blocking them is the fact that they are not spontaneous um, they don't have this lighthearted energy um, I feel like you know they're more focused on the mundane things in life like securing the home and things of that nature versus like flirting and um, <clears throat> being spontaneous initiating um kisses and you know that sort of thing so the spontaneity and the lightheartedness um i feel like is what's blocking this person currently so um yeah let's see <clears throat> please show me more about the three of cups their next move two of cups this person misses you um they want to be with you so very badly but they feel like this is a missed opportunity with you guys here they feel like it's a missed opportunity and they're longing for it i don't see them taking any action still i see them being flooded with emotions that you guys probably don't even know that this person feels um because they're not i don't feel emotionally um mature honestly and they don't really um they they're not comfortable wearing their heart on their sleeve this person's very comforting and um supportive but i get that they um they're very good at hiding their emotions honestly hmm. this is kind of sad because I, they really do love you but I feel like you guys are um, two totally different people is what it is and you're not really you know meeting in the middle per se okay so again cancer um, Pisces energies here Taurus Virgo Capricorn uh, Aries Leo Sash just about every sign it could be any sign guys okay so that is what I have for you guys, and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now. Uh, I've been blind too long, now I finally see The real and fake, who's down for me? The situation wasting my time I had enough, I'm tired of the lies Blah, 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 da-da-da-da-da What are you saying?